I've said countless times on this channel before that you can make a full time income just by selling on eBay, but I don't want to just tell you guys that, I want to show it to you as well. So here we are again after our last video, now we're looking at the 30 day results for selling on eBay. I started a brand new account to see how much money we could make and how quickly we could scale this into a full time business making more money than the average job. And you'd be surprised because in only 30 days we've been able to scale this to a business that has had some very interesting results. Let's talk about all that sort of stuff in this video, but if you want to learn more about eBay, don't forget to like this video, drop me a comment telling me that, and of course do subscribe, because that way I will know that you enjoy this sort of content a lot. So let's talk about what happened. So I started a brand new eBay account 30 days ago, I've spoken about that part already. After 14 days, we made over £400, I believe it was, in revenue, and that was actually quite surprising to me. I listed 100 items in that time period, and a lot of them did start to sell. We saw our impressions figures and our views actually coming through to our account skyrocketing and going up and up every single day. Since that video, that trend has continued, and we've hit over 1 million impressions on our 161 listings that we now have on our account. One thing that I did notice is that for the first 14 or 15 days, we weren't getting that many views through. In fact, our click-through rate was about 0.3%, which is absolutely abysmal. But what I will say is, now that we've started to get those initial few sales, the impressions figures are still growing and growing, but what we're also seeing is an interesting trend, where people are now clicking through to the items, and actually that means that they're going to buy them more and more. Now I think that the reason why people were reluctant to in the first place is because we were a brand new account with very little seller data. Right now we have sold over, I believe, 19 items as a whole, and we have about 8 positive feedback, which is only a small start, but shows a lot of credibility, as all of the feedback that we have might minus only three points, is all down to being a seller rather than being a buyer. And like I said before, seller credibility is a lot more credible than buyer credibility because it shows that you know how to ship items out, you know how to send items that are correct and good. And again, that has reflected itself in the views figures that we're getting. So especially in the past week, the actual views and impressions are starting to really climb up a lot and it's starting to look very impressive. Now let's talk about the actual sales figures, the thing that you probably want to know the most. Now. When I say you've made it on eBay, I see the starting point for this beginning is when you start to make a sale every single day. So that would amount to 30 sales a month. Now the first time that I started eBay, that probably took about 2 or 3 months to get to that point. Right now though, we have hit 17 sales in the last 30 days, meaning that Going off that data, extrapolating that, we're probably going to hit the same statistic in only two months. And that shows a lot, guys. And this is what I want to teach you a lot more and more. Once you know how this stuff works, you can save yourself the time that I wasted and you can start making a lot more money a lot quicker because you know how stuff actually works so you can cut the wasted time. 17 sales over 161 listings is not the best statistically. But what I will say is in the past two days alone, we've seen two sales per day. So that's four sales in the last two days. Today's sales amounted to over a hundred pounds that's a very good revenue figures and this is a start this is how it starts off if you keep this trend going you will build a business that's very very valuable now we have hit one bottleneck before i go into tell you about the actual financial results I want to list more and more stuff on eBay, ideally 5 items a day and I really can stick to that every single day of the year. But because our account is so new and because we're doing this like professionals, because we now understand how this works, because I've done this before, I can tell you guys all about that sort of stuff, but because that's the case, we are limited to how many goods we can sell on our new account. And every single month I keep putting in for a new account submission to you know, increase my selling limits. So the last one was when we just started the challenge on the 10th of last month. And and this one's been this part of the month technically on the 10th of this month so just yesterday at the time of filming they've only put my seller increase limit up by about a thousand pounds which sounds great but we already had fifteen thousand pounds worth of stuff listed i really would have liked to see this double and if we could have seen this hit thirty thousand pounds this month we could have stocked again thirty thousand pounds in drop shipping stock so we don't actually have to hold the inventory that's how we can hold so much of it and on top of that we would have been able to scale the amount of listings by maybe two three four fold which would have definitely increased our amount of sales massively so we're struggling a bit to how I'm going to actually manage this because we're already at £592 left of our £1,000 limit because we've sold so much stuff. 
but I think what I'm gonna have to do is take down some of the very expensive listings, you know, two, three, four hundred pounds, put them up when we get our selling limits increased, and right now focus on the core of our business, which is relatively cheap products, maybe 50 pounds or less. So every single one of these products was drop shipped minus three, and that's because we had some old inventory laying around from when I had my first business. I just wanted to get that sold out for any price possible, and that obviously helped our sales, but we didn't actually undervalue anything. So we were able to sell everything for a fair value and make a decent amount of money doing so. Speaking of which, let's start to talk a bit more about the sales figures that we hit. First, we'll talk about the numbers themselves, and I'll give you guys a proper breakdown as to how you can do this yourselves. So let's talk about our today's statistics, our seven days, our 30 days, and our 90 days from selling on eBay. Now looking at our today's statistics, we have sold exactly 115 pounds worth of stuff. That's two orders from the same buyer who has actually funnily enough bought the same product twice, but one with an offer with a 15 pound reduction. In the last seven days, we've sold 294 pounds 61s worth of stuff. Most of that coming in the last two days alone, which is very good to see. In the 31 days, it looks like we've sold about 724 .68. So clearly some very impressive statistics there and the 90 day statistics bear in mind We've probably only been selling for about 32 days So it's more like that rather than the 90 days. It's just calculated like that Anyway, that statistic is even more impressive as we've hit 774 pounds 77 in revenue, which is honestly amazing This has massively blown my estimations out of the water, but this is only the revenue Let's have a look at what we actually hit when it comes to profit numbers as that is arguably the more important part of this business all right, so here's a bit I guess you've all been waiting for. Let's have a look at the profit and the revenue that we've made on this experiment. So our experiment, our 30 days, crossed over two months, technically, and you will see that we started in October and now we're in November. So over the 30 days, we've had to divide this up for the chart to work. Our first month of selling on this account made us £180, so not too bad. That's our profit figure. And our second month has made us £226 so far. As I said before, this is very early days and we'll probably make even more than that for the end of the month probably up to maybe four or five or even 600 pounds worth of profit by the end of this month now i want to show you how this happened i want to show you what happened so you'll see here that i've divided this chart up in many ways this first column on the left is our ebay fees so this is a fees that we've had to pay the next column along is our price that we've sold for the next column along from that is going to be our costs so what it costs us to source the items and the next one's going to be of course our profit so on one of the items in the past couple of days I actually made a loss this is because I foolishly listed the item up without checking the price so it came up with an eBay recommended price which made a loss for me now I thought it was still good to go ahead with it because otherwise I would probably miss the opportunity of having 100% positive feedback as somebody could complain about their item as I wouldn't be able to send it out and this has happened before on my other account. But really we're not seeing bad results here and you'll see that most of the items that we're selling we're making profits well over 10-15 pounds you know there's only a few where we're making less than that. Now I will admit this sale for 89 over here and this sale for 36, I've highlighted these in green because I was selling off old stock which is obviously not going to be as replicable to the average person. But other sales like this one for 1972 over here, other sales like this one for £22 up here and £20 down here, anybody can do this sort of stuff. So there you have it guys, a really nice number for revenue, a really nice number for profit, something that I've been working on probably for an hour a day, sometimes maybe an hour and a half, but an hour a day for that much money, that's not bad. And again, this is just going to scale and scale if I want it to, if I put the work in. This is one of those businesses that when you know what you're doing, anybody can run it, it's very easy and you can make a very large amount of money. Yes, it's a little bit intensive, you have to put in a lot of new listings every day, every week, you have to put in a lot of orders when you get the orders, but we talk about a business here that can be a job replacement income. If you watched the channel before, you've seen the fact that I've grown my eBay shop, my first one, to you know 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 a month. And that's exactly what we intend to do here. That's what I want to show you guys, but this time I want to document the process a lot better. Because not only am I a lot better at actually uploading the items on eBay, I think I'm a lot better at creating a YouTube series around this. Anyway, so hopefully this video has been as impressive to you as it has been to me. eBay really can be an income replacer, but the same is true for any sort of drop shipping business as a whole. I'm going to talk more about this in future episodes, but if you like this content around eBay, around drop shipping, around reselling, let me know. I want to know what you guys like to see. So I can make more of that sort of stuff but that's just what I wanted to speak about today 
So really impressive results, I'm astonished by how much we've made. And to put things really into context, for the first month when we sold on eBay, the first time with the first shop, we made £100. This month for our first month, I believe we made about £150, you'll have seen the exact statistics. For our second month selling on eBay the first time, we made about £300, which is not bad. But this time, for our second month, it's only the 11th today, and we've made over £200. It looks like we're going to see a double increase in what we saw in the second month and that's just going to keep increasing and increasing and this again shows i know i've said it many times now but it shows the fact that if you know what you're doing if you walk into a business with education with knowledge you can make it work a lot more efficiently and a lot better than someone who's starting out just from the beginning thank you so much for watching this one till the end if you learned something don't forget to like subscribe and share it with a friend as you can all start making money with this method immediately thank you so much i hope to see you soon goodbye